Good morning. Thank God for another day above ground. Thank God for life. Thank God I'm touching the ground and not six feet deep. Yeah, man, hey, you know it's story time with the nut, man. Prepping myself and why I hit the road and stuff like that. And one thing I was thinking about was my boys I'm about to do the podcast with, my little bros, um, O, P, and um, Josh. So I'm thinking about the episode we're going to do in Florida, Fort Lauderdale, and Miami. Yeah, yeah, we got an episode going to be hitting there. Stay tuned. <laughs> yeah, right there, Fort Lauderdale, Fort Nickeldale. Good old Fort Lauderdale, the 90s was off the chain. Now, you really can't see it right above for you youngsters. It's right above there is Pompano Beach where Kodak Black from. Yeah, famous people came out of FLA. But anyways, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get my feet wet on the internet, you know what I'm saying, before I go do some shows on stage, make people laugh. But I want to tell a story about the time I got robbed in Fort Lauderdale. (laughs) True story, man. Back in the 90s, I got robbed along with three other dudes. My boy Mike Epps, God rest his soul. My boy Velo that had a bought Chevy. When I say bought Chevy, I'm talking about that thing had candy paint on it and them gold things. Yeah, that right there. Imagine being in your early 20s, sitting up in there, music bamming, 12s all in the trunk, sound like a gorilla coming out the trunk, just coming through stunting. Just, just imagine in your 20s, man. I remember like it was yesterday, like I said, with me, my boy Velo, Mike Epps, God rest his soul, and my boy Peanut. You know what I'm saying? We, hey, man, when we was in our 20s, we were wild. I mean, beyond wild. I mean, smoking pounds of weed wild. <laughs> so, anyways, we sitting in my crib in Madison Heights. If you from Fort Lauderdale, you know about the Madison. Yeah, right there, good old Madison, man. That was my stumping ground. That's when I got my very first apartment. And let me tell you, I was over there stunting hard, man. Um... The Renner Center days when I lied to everybody over there in the hood that the system I had was mine that I saved up for. But the fast forward, when Renner Center came hunting me down because I missed the payments, and they took my radio stereo equipment out the crib in front of everybody, and I was very embarrassed. That's a whole nother story. <laughs> so anyways, we sitting in my crib. I ain't going front. I ain't going to lie. We were getting high as hell. I mean, straight up. Facts. So, so we got the munchies. So I stay right around the corner from Betty's. If you Fort Lauder, if you from Fort Lauderdale, point blank pre or went through Fort Lauderdale, you know about Betty's. Good old Betty's restaurant. Look, if you ever travel through Fort Lauderdale, stop by there. When I say Miss Betty got some good soul food, they got some good soul food. Cause when I stayed over there, they knew me by name when I came through the door. <laughs> So anyways, we go through baddies, get a plate of food. Then we're like, man, we got to get our wardrobe tight. And I was like, man, damn, I want to get one of them gold chains, you know what I'm saying, with the marijuana leaf on it. And, and all of us want some felines. Right here, Oakland Park Flea Market. Man, you walk through that flea market, man, the barbers, the guys selling the tapes, the music going through there, especially that Jam Pony Express. If you ain't for a lot of there or Florida Pier, you don't know about Jam Pony Express, something wrong with you. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, yeah, Jam Pony Express. If you for a lot of there or Florida Pier, you know about that right there. So we in the flea market. So we go cop some felines. Yeah, back in the 90s. Them right there was the shoe. I'm going to keep it 100. All four of us had got blue pairs of felines. Them right there. But I had to go get my gold chain. Yeah, that right there. Remember that picture that I got? Um, what? Well, hold on. You know the picture. There it go. That's a nut man right there in his twenties in the nineties. As you can tell, if you pull up close, you can see that gold chain I got hanging. In the nineties, that marijuana leaf chain was the chain. Simple as that. <laughs> so okay, let me set the picture before the robbery. So we piles up back up in Velo Chevy. We in the car putting our feet lines on, you know what I'm saying? I'm putting my chain on, feeling myself. So we had a V-Low hood that was on six trunk at the very end of six trunk, a matter of fact, before the railroad tracks. So here where it starts. <laughs> so we pulls up in V-Low hood. He parts the box Chevy like at the, at the edge of six trunk at like quarter angle. 
you know that, that part when your car cleans, rim shining, music going. So we get out the car looking at the females walking by with them up dudes in the 90s. You know, hey, if you were in the 80s babies, or even you could be a late 80s babies, early 2000s, your mama probably had this hairdo. Yep, that hairdo right there. Y'all remember that in the 90s? But them girls in FLA, them up dudes and them sundresses, oh my God. <laughs> so, imagine this. We out there chilling on the block, looking fresh to death. So as we chilling, me, me how I was, I was always paranoid about certain things when I get high. So I'm looking down the street and see these two dudes on a bike riding up towards us. Uh-oh. <laughs> so the dudes rolled past us and kept going. So I'm doing just like this now as they riding by us. I'm checking it out. <laughs> so we go back to jamming some damn trick daddy. Look, if you 90s, you know about the trick daddy. Everybody know about trick from Florida. Not that trick daddy. <laughs> that trick daddy. In the 90s, come on, man. The song with him and Trina, I don't know that nigga. That represent like me. Like me. Y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so anyways, we jamming to that. Getting high as I don't know what. Yeah, out the blue. This is what we heard. Niggas, come out them damn shoes and get that chain up in the damn money, nigga. Now, mind you, them same dudes that was on them bicycles, double truck they up and came back and had them things on us. And there wasn't nothing we can do because our junks was in V-Low car. So, me being from North Carolina, still kind of a new Floridian, I wasn't used to, to getting robbed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I wasn't used to it. <laughs> this is why I know... <clears throat> I could be a comedian. Peep this right here. So as we getting robbed, my boy Velo, being a Floridian, being from Fort Lauderdale, born and raised, he got buck with it. Niggas ain't give you shit, ain't give you nothing. So I remember this short little nigga had a Beretta in his hand. He walks up to Velo, flipped the gun, the butt of the gun, hit him inside his damn dome. So when he got hit, I was like this. Well, uh, hold on. <laughs> Damn right, I kicked my shoes off quick as hell. Ripped the chain off when my pockets gave that up. And they was laughing at me. The dudes that were robbing us were laughing at me. So, <laughs> so anyways, they got what they wanted. They pulled off on the bicycles, and we was assed out. So now, mind you, then after they left, here come my boy Velo getting up off the ground. Nigga, y'all didn't do nothing. Nigga, you see what they had on us? Nigga, I'm here to tell the story right now, right? Okay, I think I made a smart move. <laughs> But anyways, man, I just want to give y'all a little story on when I first got robbed. But like I said, God rest my boy, Mike Episode, you know what I'm saying? Jasper, North Carolina, boy, great memories with you, Mike, especially when we went to Florida. This is my boy, B-Low, we still talk. He's still a little mad about getting hit upside the head, but like I said, I'm still here telling y'all the story. And then to my boy, Peanut, man, keep ministering the word, keep doing your thing. With God, man, keep preaching to the people up there in Tennessee. Love y'all, man. Just want to give y'all a story up here on the internet. Y'all come out and support the movement. Rolling South Entertainment also come support me and my little bros podcast when we launch it. And great things going to happen for a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? It's about blessing people. And that's the what I'm trying to get to with this comedy. I got a lot of people to bless and to help, man. And tell my story, too. And y'all have a blessed day. Be blessed. Stay positive. And the negativity, the hell with it. Do you, be you, and be true. Peace.